Confusing because you're singing about walking like an Egyptian, but you look like a gypsy. Like I want to ask you to tell my fortune. <laughs> you know, I I think that was your worst performance so far, because it was completely off. It was flat. You were flat, especially when you're asking everyone to sing along. They sang more on tune than you. In it was bad. <laughs> I was. I would like to see the playback. No, no, baby girl. I'm sorry, but tonight I don't know what happened. You sang like an Egyptian. You mumbled through the entire song. I really couldn't hear what you were singing. Um, but you had good energy, and that's you know one point for you, I suppose. You know, uh, Nero, you you sounded pretty bad today. I think you know it yourself. Okay, but I think my concern is not so much on your vocals. Uh -huh. um, you may be thinking that I'm trying to strike a conversation when I tell you that you know you look like an applicant for a cashier's position or a customer. But let me assure you, that will be the very reason why you're going to leave this competition. Oh. Your persona is so forgettable, I am not even interested to watch you. You actually sing pretty well. Now, if you're still not convinced about my observations, go and think why you're not amongst the top 12 when you actually sang better than those that were. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nuru Huda, everybody. Hey. Hey. Now, I gotta say this. This song, Walk Like an Egyptian, I've heard people sing in karaoke. It is difficult to sing. It is a very fast song, isn't it? It's not difficult. Uh -huh. yeah. It's a very difficult song to sing. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose this song? Because I just want to interact with the audience and having fun and they're having fun as well. That's the best thing I would like to see. From the sounds of it, everybody had fun? And you here at home had fun as well, then you have to vote for her. Her number is 1-900-112-1201. Or you can SMS the number 1 to IDOLS. The lines are open. You can start voting. Doodle Huda, everybody. Thank you. Next up, we move one year ahead to 1988 to our next contestant, who found his passion for music as a child from a Disney lullaby CD. Let's uh, learn a bit more about Justin Jeff. Apparently when I was born, I didn't even cry, so the doctor thought I was, you know, dead. And <laughs> he had to pinch my butt quite a lot of times. They kind of got a little bit freaked out. I had this um, gastrointestinal problem. I didn't really like to eat, so I had to be force-fed, sort of. So my, my mom or my grandma, when they fed me, right, I, I would usually take about like two hours to eat. So they would put rubber bands in my hands, you know, they got so desperate. And then they would just pull, you know, and then they'll hit my hand like that, and I would like open my mouth. Then I'll be singing Together Forever by Rick Astley. It's a very happening retro song. And since I'm from the 80s, why not sing a mumbo retro song, right? So dance along with me. Together forever and never to part. Together forever we two. And don't you know down there's always something i can do because i wouldn't ever want to see you frown i'll always do what's best for you so don't stop me falling it's destiny calling a power i just can't deny it's never changing can you hear me i'm saying i want you for the rest of my life come on Together forever and never to part Together forever we two And don't you know I would move heaven and earth To be together forever with you Together forever and never to part Together forever we two And don't you know No, I would move heaven and earth to be together forever. 
Um, you know, you know, I said that that you look a bit, you know, you're a bit awkward when you move and everything, right? Yep. I said that last week, and and then you go and choose a song that you have to move around a lot, so it became, you know, it's, I think you should just look at what you've got, look at your your best thing, assets or whatever, and um, use them, and whatever you don't have, work on them. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay, thank you. Okay, when um, Rick Astley broke out with that song, he was awkward, geeky, nerdy, but he had a fantabulous voice. You were everything except the fantabulous voice tonight. But you do have one thing working for you. You've got such a likable personality. I think everybody's going to vote you in anyway. Thank you. Okay, um, just in two things. Okay, presentation. I think Dick is absolutely right. You gotta go back, watch the playback, and you realize that your movements are not as spontaneous as your vocal delivery. It is awkward. Okay. Now that 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 doesn't work for you because it camouflages all the qualities you have. Second thing, voice. You wanna pick songs that are more challenging because your voice tone is very ordinary. You understand? And if you do an ordinary yes, song and you've got an ordinary voice, it comes out flat. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Alright, Justin, everybody. So when you were born, they thought you were dead, and they pinched your bum. Yeah, okay, pretty from much. What I've seen on TV, usually they slap the bum, right? They pinch your bum instead. Yeah, apparently that's what they did. I'm not sure you have to ask my mum, but she's not here. So was the doctor <laughs> trying to revive you, or just angry with you? Wake I up, think bro. he was trying to make sure that I was alive. So you know, if you don't respond right, it means you're dead, lah. But you're here now. He's alive <laughs> and he's waiting for your vote. His number is one nine hundred one one two one two zero. Two, or you can SMS the number 2 to IDOL. So I repeat, the voting lines are open. You can start voting now. Justin Jeb, everybody. Thank you. We are going for a break. When we come back, we'll have Tabitha, Charles, and Sylvia. Stay tuned to Singapore Idol. Now, <laughs> what's up, what's up? Now, uh, when I decided to join uh, Singapore Idol during uh, uh, 2006, I had to make a lot of sacrifices, like uh, I had to quit my job and also uh, my family time also had to be sacrificed. So how about you guys? Do you guys had to uh, sacrifice anything? Um, yeah, I have to take one month unpaid leave. And really? It will continue um, expanding as, as long as, I'm, as I am in the competition. So yeah. Tabitha? Um, I've had to skip school. <laughs> skip school? Yes. Yes. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, uh, and Saturdays, I don't really 